I, I, I hear a fees angle, but I don't know if it's the same. Not the good kind. <laughs> no, I want to clarify because if it's anal and preparation, I understand that. Yes. If it's just like I have an anal personality. Are you talking about anal and preparation H? Yeah. <laughs> well, Sheldon would have a contingency plan for everything that happens. He would have a little three by five card. We go through. Here's the conditions. Okay, here's, here's how I survive. That, you're right. And as he's pulling that card out, no, 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 no. But but here's the question: because they have kind of a, a weird relationship, would Sheldon help protect Penny and his animals? No. Okay, so, so we all do this. This isn't this isn't a zombie panel. It's a Big Bang Theory panel. Do it. Do this thing. Okay. Do it. Okay. Do it. Okay. All right. Here's how this is gonna work. First off, okay. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that's great. If she's useful, yes. would he steep to the level? Would Sheldon steep to the level of using Penny as fodder? Yes. Oh, certainly. Oh, okay. And how would he do it? Wait, I want more than one person's opinion on this. Well, Tripper rolled it running away from zombies. Huh? Just Tripper rolled it running away from zombies. Yeah, I know that's my plan. She's from Nebraska, but the convoy. He'd probably use her as a defender. But yeah, and I gotta agree with you there, because being from Kansas, Nebraska area and everything, everybody thinks, oh, zombie apocalypse is horrible, but really here? It's not. We all got shotguns and stuff. Yeah. If every one of you turned into a zombie right now, are, are, are there are enough swords in that other room and geeks that know how to do it. So you, you have what? I think Sean would look long term view and realize that she'd be a good breeder to repopulate the earth. Um, See, now you're talking about. Oh! Sheldon, Sheldon, come on in, guys. We've got plenty of seats. They've dropped all the charges against us. It's perfectly fine to come in. <laughs> <laughs> come on. But no, I'm not going to drop two charges. Okay, yeah, we still have some volunteer service hours. That's why we're here. Um, so, no, I think Sheldon, just because he just became interested in touching himself, much less other people, yeah. <laughs> yeah. would still, I don't know if he'd wrap his mind around that. Any of the other He's geeks that I show, yeah, totally. Around for that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Blossom. Oh, my God. We, like, my my first crush ever was Velma, and now to see Blossom, who like I kind of grew up as as an adolescent as a neurosurgeon, which she is in real life, and also to be an actor, oh, oh, okay. it's, it's either her or Felicia Day. What do you think? Oh, I was gonna say I think this panel deteriorates when we start talking about your sex life. <laughs> the word hypothetical of course, needs to be in that sentence. Zombies <laughs> This panel will deteriorate over time, but if we talk about your sex life, it'll be done. Oh! oh. So, they have sympathy for me and my sex life. All right. So, here's how this is going to work. Jellybee and I do various panels throughout. Uh, you know, we do AFW and some other conventions every once in a while. We've done a lot of in Paris, and a lot of times, what we like to do is we like to do trivia stuff, and we like to do panels and discussions with people. But we're also kids at heart. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I heard you have the heart of a child in, in your closet. I was going to say that. Uh, but what we like to do during our panels is we like to make them interactive. We like to get you guys involved, not just in discussion and answer, but we like to actually teach you guys a little something about what we're doing. So what we like to do, especially with zombies, because I'm a big, big zombie freak. we got a lot of big zombie freaks in here. I'm a bumpy freak in training. Just teach me how to learn. <laughs> he hasn't had a proposal that good since ever. ever. <laughs> I've never had a woman say, teach me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Usually the other way around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. One time my wife said I can't use the ATM card to teach me. <laughs> so what we've done on the zombie panel is I've come up with a series of questions to ask you fine people, and Jelly Bean has come up with a series of cool activities that involve such things as Nerf guns, squirt guns, and fake body parts. I need a classic cut. So what we're going to do during this is we're going to get some of you guys up here, and you guys are going to participate in a little bit of a game show. We'll earn points during this game show, and whoever gets the most points at the end wins the zombie apocalypse. Now we do have one prize for the winner at the end. Uh, it's a date with Little Bear. Yeah, yeah. Worth $3.50. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
was going to be a day with Jelly Bean, but it's only worth three and a half minutes. There's, there's not pockets in my costume at the right height here. <laughs> I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> so what we've got, this panel's for us, not you people. All right. uh, so what we've got for a prize is any of you that go to the glorious, beautiful city of Newton, Kansas. Next week, next Sunday, we have a zombie festival. We have free admittance for two people into that festival for whoever wins this. If you win and you don't get your free admittance or you don't want your free admittance, that's your freaking loss. So, what we're going to do now, do we, we want... give it to who we choose if we want to be nice people? No. You, no can't, you can't do that. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to just test your guys' zombie knowledge a little bit. Now, I know through the last panel what we did is everybody was talking about different things. Most of our zombie knowledge is going to be based on movies. And we are very scared for you people because we're afraid that most of the culture cannot survive based on their movie experience.